how I became in charge of two battle-ready battalions in the Russian military. And the gecko was regarded yet, and the white tigers. You see, I don't even know the Russian names, but I became a part of the the white tiger and the geckos, which are uh, one's an armored battalion, and the other one is an infantry battalion. And all I have to do is make sure that they're well fed and being taken care of, not dying in too many numbers, because it's war after all. You want some brave soldiers to, you know, pass on. I'm just joking, but you should really learn how to. It's, it's taught me wonderful things about um, how to talk to individuals, how to emphasize leadership when things get tough. You have to find the quickest way solution sometimes, or the the least painful. And there are things which you can maneuver, like um, how much pain is going on with the soldier, the the medicine that should be given to him to for betterment. And of course, you must make sure your troops' morale is good. You need to make sure that they are uh, human beings after all being uh, and you're in charge of them and you have to you know uh, kind of humble yourself otherwise you become too egocentrical and narcissistic and so really you just need to really really find a way to find a way to heal them and, and make sure your men are all right it, it comes with lots of steps because first you need to relinquish your supremacy if you're not being hurt at the same way as they are you must relinquish the idea that you're better than them but you're not you're just part of a larger working organization the army the military and um uh, yeah it just goes to show how you know, the smaller steps build a larger picture and you have to work from what you get and it's, it has to be quick because you're in the action and it can cause lots of deaths quite quickly so you have to you know, make sure you're in line with what's going on. Like, and if you're with them in the battlefield, it's way better because then you can actually experience what's going on. And uh, most generals don't do that nowadays, staying with their troops in battle. So, yeah.